Microsoft Flight Simulator is finally delivering on the promise of being arguably the best flight sim experience we've had to date, but it is a huge performance bear unless maybe you have the NVIDIA 4090 graphics card. Now this card ain't cheap, but it is brand new and it's really the first graphics card since Microsoft Flight Simulator came out in 2020 that truly delivers on the performance. But if you get this card or you're thinking about getting this card, here's what you can expect in terms of performance and what the best settings are. Because after all, if you're gonna spend the money on this kind of a graphics card and of course the various components, because you're going to need a CPU, RAM, and hard drive to keep up with all of it. But if you do all that and invest that kind of money in the simulator, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get every ounce of performance out of it. So today, I wanted to share the graphic settings that really work well for me. Prior to this card, I was actually running a 2080 Ti and it was good, but I could tell in certain situations where it really struggled. There'd be pauses, there would be degradations in the performance and it would just not be quite ideal. Ever since I upgraded to the 4090, it has been a revelation because of how smooth the sim runs, even under the really worst conditions, like flying into cities that have huge performances, like New York City or Los Angeles. With that in mind, let's dive into the graphics settings you should use if you also have a 4090 graphics card. Now, before we get into the actual graphics settings for Microsoft Flight Simulator, there are some important settings you're gonna to wanna to change in NVIDIA. Because the 4090 card has its own different graphic performance variables, you're gonna wanna change these first. The easiest way to do that is to go to the NVIDIA control panel first, load that up. Once that loads in here, you're gonna be looking for the 3D settings. The 3D settings are gonna allow you to change specific performances per game. By default, you have global settings. If you click on program settings and then Microsoft Flight Simulator from the drop down menu, you can create overrides specifically for this particular game. That way you're not overdoing it on other performances on other applications and games that you're using. So the changes that I made here, I think there's only a couple that are truly important. Number one, low latency mode, I've set that to ultra. Power management mode, I've set that to prefer, prefer maximum performance. Texture filtering to on. Texture quality to high performance. Texture filtering, trilinear optimization to on. And that's really the most important things right there. Everything else I think was pretty much global settings as you can see here with no other uh, overrides, if you will. All right, now that once that's set and you may need to restart your, your computer for that matter, let's go into the simulator. And you can see here we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator and we're at John F. Kennedy International Airport. And it is absolutely silky smooth, really, really nice. Let's go to the graphic settings. Going in here, the graphic settings are kind of what I've played with, tinkered with. And also, to be perfectly fair, I've seen what other people have done and found and to be a really good balance. Again, it's not just to put everything on ultra. If you do that, you're kind of wasting your performance. Not everything needs to be ultra, but I certainly have full screen and I have 4K resolution. Anti-aliasing is at TAA. You might be tempted to actually go with NVIDIA DLSS, but it's not quite fully baked yet. Basically what, what I found, and other people have found this as well, seems to be that performance wise, it just doesn't quite, it's not there yet. Maybe down the line, but for right now, you actually don't need it. Render scaling, we're gonna keep that obviously at 4K. The most important setting I would argue is really the NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. This particular hardware option that comes with the RTX series of the GeForce cards is really important. It makes a huge difference to make sure that is on. V-Sync should be off. I have the Fidelity FX sharpening to 100. I'm using uh, DirectX 12. I think that's important as well. And you can see here, we're gonna move down now to the other settings. I've got terrain level of detail to 250 and I have object level of detail to 150. I could probably boost this up to about 200, but I found that this works pretty darn well. In fact, a lot of these settings, what I've found is just beyond this, I'm just not finding any significant changes for what it's worth. I have ultra settings for many of the options that you're seeing here, including buildings and trees and grasses and bushes, uh, contact shadows, shadow maps at 2048. Uh, everything's on here pretty much ultra or high. So I've really got this, the glass cockpit refresh rate is at medium. Everything else here you can see, we're gonna go through this one more time just so you can get a clear look at it, is set pretty darn high. And this works out pretty well for what I'm looking at. Again, you could probably tweak some of these down to high instead of ultra, especially maybe some of the shadows but I just wanted to see what this card could really do. And truly the game changer has been, without a doubt, the NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. That is just such a big difference maker for this particular card. So there you go. There's a look at the graphic settings that really make a difference. Again, you may need to restart your SIM and your whole PC, quite frankly, if you change these settings. That way everything's all refreshed, good to go. And hopefully you will have fantastic graphic settings and performance without any of the drags or pauses or any other issues that you might encounter 
with Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way, YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Hotchamania. We'll talk again real soon.